Hi everyone, it's Robert with Recipe Costing. In this video, we are going to set up our general food order guide. That is everything that's in your kitchen, all the items necessary to run a successful hospitality, restaurant, or catering business. To get to the food order guide, we're going to click production, and then we're going to click the food order guide link. Before you begin entering any items in the food order guide, make sure that you've gone through our wizard. That is the video before this one. And it's essential to make sure you have all your setup items ready to go so when you start entering data into our software, you've already set it up correctly. The data grid is a neat tool to be able not only to edit or add new items, but you can search. Every column here can be searched. So if you're looking for a specific item like eggs, just type in eggs. If you're looking for all the items within a category, look for that category. So let's type in dairy. Instead of adding an item from scratch, we're going to take a look at an item I've already added into the system. So let's look at cheddar cheese. When entering an item into the food order guide, you need to tell the software whether it's food or materials. This is important because materials will show up under your recipes where you can add them later and add that cost to it. If it's food, you also want to have the USDA database available to you so you can take a look at the nutrient values. Entering food, you wanna make sure you click the food icon. If you're entering materials, click the materials icon. Let's enter food. I put in cheese cheddar, you could put in cheddar cheese. I selected dairy. I also selected the ounce. That's the way I like to portion my cheese, but I usually buy it by the pound or I uh, purchase it by the pound. So I wanna make sure I enter that into the system. And in food location, you tell us where you're storing your food. So whether it be in the walk-in cooler, freezer, or dry storage. This is important so when you start to do inventory or if you use our software for inventory, you know exactly where your food is located. Right below that is the USDA database. We tie into it. So all you have to do is type in cheese to give you an example. And you see that database has blue cheese, brick cheese, and then here you go, cheese cheddar. Selecting that will load all the nutrient values for cheddar cheese. To look at the rest of the data, you can use this menu on the left-hand side, or you can go right here below and hit next. Two choices, any choice will work. Once you're done entering items, you can click the save and add more. This will allow you to stay on this page and continue entering items. Clicking the save button will take you to the data grid after you successfully clicked OK and will list all the items here once they're entered into our database. Here's today's homework. Enter all the items in your kitchen into the food order guide, including materials. And when you're done, watch our next video, vendors and vendor items. Thanks for watching.